So it's uh, Sunday morning about half 11 and it's the end of March 2023 and this is the market in Estepona. Um, it's a Sunday morning market. It's quite relaxed. It's not as mad as the Saturday market over in Puerto Banus. That's kind of quite full on. Um, there's a lot of Scandinavians here, a spattering of Brits, quite a few Irish as well. And uh, it's a more kind of senior crowd is the way that I would just politely describe it. Nice mix of stalls, you know, leatherware, some shoes and uh, textiles and dresses. And um, there's nice little restaurants and uh, cafes where you can uh, grab a bite to eat or a drink just as you are browsing around or leaving your significant other to browse around. So lots of you will know where Marbella is just there on the right hand side. Estepona is about 20, 25 kilometres further to the west. It was actually potentially going to be the location for Euro Disney, but they opted for Paris in the end. You go along that A7, that crazy dual carriageway to get there and then uh, come off to drop down to the beach. The the road that comes in past Car 4, up at the top again, underneath that road there's a, a long um, underground car park so you can get in at the Car 4 location then drive underground and park closer towards where the port is. So this is that underground car park that I spoke about. Really long, you know, park up there, your car's, your car's out of the way, no problem at all. Uh, and what they've been doing, where that road used to run down, they've pedestrianised it now. They've got a very forwards thinking mayor who's, uh, who, who kind of likes his fountains and his flowers. They're doing a really good job of it as well. They're up to at the moment, as you can see, just behind me here, they're still doing this esplanade, promenade, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's, it was due to finish in February 2023 and they've only got a little bit to do. They've got like a quarter of a mile to do of it beach behind which is lovely a wide beach uh, a bigger and better beach than you get over in Puerto Bonus and then all along here kind of the half mile or so that runs into where I parked up there is all complete and it's got nice planting in the middle and it's a nice kind of walk and promenade um, yeah very nice so last time I was here must have been October 22 and I knew that they'd blocked that that road off that road that kind of runs down didn't really know what they were doing but all this is new so all this paving and this planting is new and it runs kind of from the middle of the front I've not got a good map down to where the port is and the reason that I was coming here was to go to the market and it's lovely it's a really nice it's a Sunday morning market and Estepona is um, I'm trying to think of this and, and kind of the best way to say it. It's it's kind of a more, uh, I don't want to say civilised crowd, but it's kind of a more mature crowd that you get in Estepona. Um, and this market is uh, ideal for that, for that kind of population. It was just nice and relaxed. And remember, this is March and it was probably 25 degrees, really nice. And... Um, this is down by the port area and there's a, a tall blue building that you'll see in the background which which I used as my um, uh, kind of landmark and that's kind of at the, uh, at the centre of the port and it's almost got like an, an Arabic Moroccan kind of vibe to it and there's woodcrafts and um, there's a few fakes but not many uh, interestingly enough um, the the market in Puerto Banus the day before on the Saturday got raided by the police and, and you know everyone scarpered with it with all the fake stuff. So yeah, so I think that Estepona is kind of just on a tipping point now. The the name of the um, the name of the mayor is something like uh, Mario Garcia Urbana. And that's the building that I was talking about. Yeah, Mario Garcia Urbana. And he's got a real vision for what he wants to do. And he wants to make it a much more attractive place. And the old town for Estepona, I've done some videos about the old town of Estepona. Super pretty. And he obviously wants to do it for the rest of it. And I think that's why um, I'm, I'm trying to think of the word, you know, senior folks like it because it looks good. It's got it's um, I was going to say it's got a touch of tall key about it. Um, look at that um, Honda there, that gold thing. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, I think he's doing a good job of it. So so if you're planning on going to Estepona in summer 2023, by the time that you get there, this will all be done and it'll look fantastic. And I think what you'll see is where that road used to go, the shops along that road were all pretty um, middle market. You know, they, they, they were pharmacies and they were um, travel agents and they were electricians and they were things like that. I could imagine over the next couple of years, they'll all swap out. And before you know it, it'll be restaurants and cafes and artisan stores and um, perfumeries and, um, um, you know, sunwear kind of shops. But look at this. It's, it's really gorgeous. And then above there, see where it says Healy's? I went for a pint up there and it's got some bars up there. Now, the, now the interesting thing was that there was quite a mix of um nationalities there it wasn't all brits if anything the brits were in the minorities there was a lot of irish there um and there was some scandinavians and dutch so i went up to that that heel is the irish bar voted by the irish times as diageo as the, as the best irish pub outside um ireland um and i had a, a cold drink there lovely estepona i um, suggest it's probably going to uh, be a good one Take care, everyone. Bye.